<laughs> and by the time I had returned, it occurred to me that my phone had been in my, how do you say, pocket the entire time? Can you imagine, Brittany? All right, look, just because you're on the chair squad now does not mean that we're friends. Does it mean that we are best friends? Cezanne, don't talk to me. From now until the end of time, I don't want to hear any more of your stupid fucking words coming out of that tiny little mouth, on that tiny little head, underneath that ridiculously large hat! Oh, Brittany, you are going to make a, such a wonderful godmother to my child? What? I said, you are going to make... A wonderful godmother to my child? Is it crack? Is that what you smoke? Do you smoke crack? Hi. No. No, 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 no. We don't do that here. I'm sorry, Mac. I think I'll be deciding what we are and aren't doing from now on, okay? Thanks. Dear God, what have I done? Hello, Cezanne. Brittany. Where's Trisha? I'm I'm right here. here. Um, Trisha, why is she here? Oh, isn't she on the squad? Yeah, uh, I thought I should come to practice. Huh, I guess not. All right then, well, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Trisha. Wait, Trisha, no. Why is the other Trisha here? Oh, well, I thought I was supposed to bring a new squad member. Yeah, Trisha, we were all supposed to get our sworn enemies. Brittany got Saison, I got Shaven Buren, and you were supposed to get Ashley Catchadorian. Oh, that would make a lot more sense because I, because Trish is not the, wow, yeah, did not pick up on that at all. She doesn't even go to our school. Oh, don't worry, now I do. Yeah, she transferred. It was a lot of paperwork. I had to become a notary. Okay, this is bullshit. I should not have to be stuck with Pepe Le Dumb if Trisha gets to hang out with her fucking friend. Uh, Brittany, you don't have any friends. God damn it. Okay. Anyways, so, Mackenzie, I believe you have an announcement to make. Shay, can we just not... Oh, come on. All that rehearsal. We wouldn't want that to go to waste, would we? Okay, guys. So, basically... <coughs> okay. Your attention, please. Assembled members of the cheer squad. Shay is making... <coughs> okay, would you just clear your throat already? Okay. I got it. I got the hint. I got the hint! <sighs> I have decided, Uh completely of my own accord, that for the good of the cheer squad, Shay Van Buren is temporarily... (coughs) Dear God. Okay. Okay. One more time and I will karate chop you in your fucking throat, Shay. What? From this day forward and forevermore, Shay Van Buren is the new captain of the Overland Park cheer squad. (laughs) Oh, hooray. Mackenzie... What the fuck? Brittany, I had to do it. It's for the good of the cheer squad. It's over. Okay, let's move on. Fucking deal with it, okay? We're not in a friendly situation, Brittany! I'm sorry. Are you trying to tell me what to do? Because from what I've just been told, you're not the head cheerleader anymore. And apparently, we're no longer in Overland Park. We're smack dab in the middle of Crazy Town! Ah, Crazy Town. Good band. Ooh, come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly. Sugar. Baby. Okay, okay, that's enough. For my first order of business as head cheerleader, you guys are fucking garbage. That's constructive. Let's face it. You girls have lost your edge. The reason that hipsters are taking over this school is because you all have no idea what being the most popular girl in school is all about. Well, I think it's important to note that we invited you here. And secondly, you can feel free to leave and go fuck yourself. All right. Well, we'll take a note of that. Trisha? Noted. Bearing that in mind... I've decided that my only recourse is to bring in a specialist. Ladies, it is with great honor that I present to you the man who is ranked number one in Cheer Magazine's 2013 Cheer Coaches to Watch in 2013, the one, the only, Dr. Greg Converse. Ladies, round of applause. You can clap. Hello, ladies. Yes, that's right. It's me, in the flesh, Dr. Greg Converse, and there is not a cheer squad on this planet that I cannot turn around. Is that bitch pregnant? Ah, we. I have a... Baguette in the, how you say, oven? (laughs) Does she speak English? Uh, Yes, very annoyingly. All right, just so you ladies know that I am not fucking around, let me clue you in on some of my credentials. I was the artistic director of the Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders from the years 2002 to 2007. Following that, I spent four years in Los Angeles teaching the Laker girls not only how to bring a crowd to their feet, but also how to stop banging Kobe Bryant. 
Oh, and did I mention I was the creative consultant for a little movie called Bring It On? Oh, did you also work on Bring It On 2? The fuck did you just say to me? No, I did not work on Bring It On 2. When Dunce left, I left. Um, are we going to be tested on any of this? Listen, I don't know what Shea Van Buren told you, but we really don't need a cheer instructor. Yeah, and I'm not sure if you heard, but we actually won the NHSCA National Championship. Well, the problem that we're experiencing is that our school has suddenly become overrun by an uprising of hipsters who are making everything that's supposed to be cool suddenly and decidedly uncool. And that includes us. Oh, wow. You know what I just heard? Wine, wine, wine. Uh, I'm not whining. I just... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you not want to be here? Would you rather be at home with a nice glass of red wine, sitting next to your pet Weimaraner, while you guys wind down your day by catching up on old episodes of Mad Men created by Matthew Weiner? Is that what you'd like? No. No. That's right. You're going to come in this doghouse. You're going to get bit. Got it? Got it. You ladies have got a lot to learn. Lesson number one. Be a bitch. Don't act like a bitch. Ooh, he's like our Yoda. Or is it yogurt? It doesn't matter that you girls are good at cheerleading. I'll tell you right now, being a good cheerleader has nothing to do with pom-poms and figuring out words that rhyme with the name of your school. Being a cheerleader is about being the girl every girl wants to be and being the girl every guy wants to be with. Ooh, like Hillary Rodham Clinton. All right. The first thing I need to do is assess the amount of work that has to be done with the six of you. Whiny the poo, pop quiz. Some girl steals your boyfriend. What do you do? Well, she becomes my best friend and he's going to be the godmother to our child? Holy Christ on the cross. You guys are really going to make me work for this $22,000, aren't you? $22,000? Jesus Christ, what the fuck, Shay? What? My family's really fucking rich. Right. And even though I think this is pretty much a lost cause, Two Tails has already paid me, so we're gonna move on. The five pillars of cheerleading. Being hot, bitching someone out, the art of the tease, gossip, and finally, maintain the social pyramid. We'll start with being hot. Know this. If no one wants to fuck you, then you are fucked. Preggers, how hot can you look? Ooh. Stop. Oh. Whoop. I thought that one? Just terrible. Sweetheart, we're going to have to figure out a way to help guys get boners in spite of that baby bump. Next, bitching someone out. Me, 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 me. I can do it. Pick, pick me. All right, dinosaur neck. I want you to bitch me out. All right. Listen here, pal. You are needing a haircut when you poop. I... I would not buy you at a candy store. That's how offensive you look to me because you're going to the bathroom right now. You're pooping. You are filled with poop. All of you is poop and farts. You're, you're pooping farts. Is this a special ed squad and no one told me? Hey, nice work. He's probably just embarrassed because of all the poop he has. You know? Moving on, number three, the art of the tease. Since you're so eager to volunteer, answer me this. What do you do when you know a boy likes you? Give him a handy. No. A blowing. No. A wristy. What? No. <laughs> well, I guess that just leaves fuck me in my bad hole. Good God, no. You lead him on. You let him think that you want him too. I mean, what would happen if you slept with every guy in the school? Well, I can tell you exactly what would happen. I mean, what specifically do you want to know? Jesus Christ. Okay, moving on. Pillar number four, gossip. I want you to tell two tales a damaging secret about somebody. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? I said I've never kissed a boy! No, 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 holy fuck, no! First of all, you don't yell it because now everyone knows. Second, that was a secret about you. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what we're doing. What? Number five. Maintain the social pyramid as the pinnacle of the social pyramid. It is your responsibility to make sure that everyone in the school knows their place and stays in it. Popular girls at the popular tables, nerds in the science lab, and fucking weirdo art kids hanging out behind the school smoking clove cigarettes. Now you, how have you been doing maintaining the social pyramid here? Uh, well, pretty good, I think. It's, it's all been going pretty well. 
Oh, really? Then who, may I ask, is this? Ugh, Rachel Tice. And why, might I ask, is she so happy in this picture? Because she just won prom queen. Oh, tell me, is Rachel Tice a really cool popular girl? No. Oh, well then what is she? A fucking loser. A fucking loser! You let a fucking loser win prom queen! And you let your whole fucking school get overrun by a bunch of nearsighted, beanie-wearing weirdos who listen to bands that they don't even play on the radio. So I guess it's not going so well, is it? Don't you ever lie to me again. Trust, ladies. We're gonna need it. Because trust me, you are all very, very fucked. Thanks for watching this video. Press like if you liked it. And special thanks to our special guest Kingsley for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Press that button. Do it now. Now. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, Kingsley's coming back next week, so make Whoa! sure you watch the episode. Just... He's gonna put his foot dead in the ass of the cheerleaders again. Oh god. Dead in the ass. <laughs> Bye. Bye.